Hi everyone, it's Raziel Kane. I'm back with another review. Today we're going to do some toy hacks because I just received in the mail the War for Cybertron Earthrise Optimus Prime decals and they look fantastic. It's an older set. I know I'm kind of late on it, but uh, I really like this figure of Optimus Prime. Best version I've seen ever, but the trailer that comes with it is actually pretty plain. And I saw the picture on the website of toy hacks and those six decals um, well, this is six sheet, but it's like one big and then five small. Uh, they look pretty good. They add a lot to the trailer. I'm really excited to be able to do this set. So if you do enjoy the video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, check my voice acting spotlight, the main feature of my channel, where I do spotlights on voice actors that voice G1 characters. And uh, eventually might be moving on to other uh, iteration of Transformers. But you came here for the decal, so let's take a look at the figure before. Let's roll! Alright, you've already seen this figure. It's over a year old and it was re-released in Kingdom. So we know what it uh, it looks like, but still. Taking a look at the actual figure, uh, you can see all the paint application on the toes, uh, the shin, uh, the chromed wheels. Uh, of course plastic, never rubber. Uh, I'm not with these uh, latest release. Uh, the hands, the moving hands, paint application, the metallic blue, uh, a little more, you know, mauve red, uh, silver highlights, the Autobot logo, uh, which in Beast Wars, if I remember, was used as a regenerative plug or some a life support system plug. <laughs> I thought that was pretty original. Uh, the highlights on the crotch and the waist, uh, the abs, you know, an eight pack. Uh, that's a 10 pack. That's that's some serious abs, Prime. And uh, the gun, uh, not really G1 like. I mean, they, tr they tried to do the G1 gun, but I don't think it really fits. Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, I know that in the center your center yon drone accessory pack. Uh, you had a more accurate version. You have the uh, cut stacks with the nice paint, nice details, uh, silver highlight, the window, translucent. I don't know if it's translucent blue or if it's blue, uh, clear uh, over a blue uh, sh plastic. I think that's what it is. Uh, really nicely done. And then you have the matrix inside to light our darkest hour. So that's, you know, standard with Prime these days. And actually, every leader has the Matrix, Galvatron has it, and then Megatron on the Kingdom uh, spoiler pack has it. Um, the eyes, I don't know, they could have been a little lighter because they don't really show that much, but they're really good with the paint uh, for the forehead mark. Of course, the faceplate, which, uh, you know, it's not a prime if he doesn't have a faceplate. And then the tanks who fold in the tie, it's uh, really nice. Mines are re mines are really floppy. They don't really hold well in uh, truck mode, but, you know, minor details. There's not much waffle on Optimus Prime compared to a lot of the figures of the uh, War for Cybertron line. Uh, overall, fantastic figure. Um, let's move this decal here. Of course, the trailer is pretty plain. And then I use mine to store blast effects, which I don't have that many. Let me clear that. Forgot they were in there. And yeah, compared to the G1 trailer, extremely plain. Uh, I mean, nice accessory to have that thingy there, um, which was part of the original toy. And, you know, part of that one episode where Prime splits uh, his personality component uh, into three because he's influenced or possessed or whatever by the Decepticons. <laughs> A very plain trailer and uh, even on the outside sorry you have the small Autobot logo uh, it's still you know pretty great so I'm excited to see what toy hacks actually does the thing is that I don't remember exactly what the toy hacks decals will cover because uh, I've actually had this set for uh, a while I think before Christmas just never had the chance to actually apply it so um, I said six sheets it's actually seven and before I go any further, 
I just realized I lied to everybody and there's actually just four decal sheets. Totally forgot, I also ordered Netflix Bumblebee decals. So those are the extra three. Uh, there was this one uh, here, it in between two. Uh, I'm gonna have to figure out where everything goes, but I think it will absolutely be worth it. So now let's take a look at Earthrise Prime with the stickers. Okay, I'm back from applying the decals. Here's a picture and you can spot the difference already. Let me walk you through them. First off, you have decals uh, right at the bottom. These will translate to the cab mode, the red and yellow light. Here you have those knee decals, which I wish this line here was on the opposite side so that it would be more symmetrical. I don't know if every set comes like that, but I've checked on the Toy Hacks website and they do display it like that. So I'm guessing it's a reason that that escapes me. You have highlights here, a new uh, crotch plate and details for the yellow. See, this one moved a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna have to reapply that. You have extension, well not extension, you have extra details. This covers a, uh, a joint for the hand and that little arrow, you have a decal here. What's really cool for the G1er is this thing here. This used to be what we saw when we transformed Optimus Prime because we had to remove the fist and the fist would peg here. And actually this, when you transform them, that would be the headlight. So it's really cool for uh, of Toy Hacks to add this little uh, feature. The windows are so perfect. I love that reflective uh, illusion uh, of the light. It's awesome. Uh, nothing for decals on the shoulders. It's the same one we got in the basic uh, when he arrives. Uh, they give you two chrome uh, faceplate because it's actually very hard to apply properly. It's super reflective too. It took me a while to apply it properly and I think I scratched it a little bit. You can see it. Uh, so I had to use boat because I completely missed the first one. And then you have some highlights here on the head. Nothing for the eyes. I do wish, I mean it would have been terrible to apply but i do wish that they would have given us a lighter blue decal for this for the eyes it it would have made it just a little better but for the price point it's uh, really good in the back is there something that shows nope nothing and uh, nothing on top uh, to cover these uh, joints so but overall a fantastic figure now that uh, he's been fully enhanced with toy hacks and i am extremely happy with this set so far let's take a look at the trailer now oh, no! and now taking a quick look at optimus in truck mode this is probably one of the figure i enjoy watching the most when it's in alt mode because this is pure nostalgia for me love the flat nose always wanted to have a prime with a flat nose this is my childhood come to life I love the look of this figure, but I'm very, very anxious to see what the Toy Hacks decals do in this mode because they did a good job on the robot mode, which a lot translate to the truck mode, and I'm really excited to have a final look of this figure. So I won't keep you waiting any longer. Let's take a look at Earthrise Prime with the stickers. And this time, no force in the universe can stop me. And I'm back from toy axing the cab. And this actually took me a long time. It took me about two hours to apply every stickers. Mind you, I started at 11.30 p.m., finished around 1.20 a.m. And um, I was tired, and so I was taking more time to apply properly each sticker. And uh, I think I did okay. I'll try to put in a picture on top, so you can see the difference uh, very quickly. Sharper decal on the cab. I think this one just pops way more. The other one was a paler blue. Like there's still a small line here of the paler blue. So we're gonna take a look uh, separately at the cab and the truck. So let's remove the cab. Of course I had to knock my settings. Um, so what you have, you have the, uh, there's nothing to add on the tank, which are always very loose. Uh, nothing for the wheels, uh, no covers for any screws, but you do get uh, some uh, decals here for uh, yellow and red light. And then you have the uh, extra uh, steel plating on uh, the 
bed of the truck. Is that what it's called? I don't know. I don't know about trucks. Uh, the windows. The windows are amazing on this. Like with the little shade on it. That like light reflection. It's good. This actually used to be complete window. So they added a red part here to give you more of a separation between a back and forth uh, pick, uh, window. I think that looks good. And then in the front of the cab, uh, you have the new window decals. And I think they look fantastic. That's probably one of the main reason I got this set. Uh, new uh, light for the front of the cab and then new headlights uh, for uh, and then there's an I don't know if it shows properly there's an M here on and that's probably for the brand of the truck which I'm no expert so I'm not gonna guess that's pretty much it for the cab nothing for the crotch under nope now let's uh, go for the trailer trailer like I said looks awesome uh, that sticker is much more vibrant yeah that's the word I was looking for and then here you have new decals for the back of the truck and then license plate. There's no actual place for a license plate, so Toy Hacks puts it here. There was uh, various uh, options. I took Prime 1 because that's what relates most of what I, I like. But where this thing shines is in this mode. Now, I'm just going to take... I'm going to pop it like this for now. Uh, I'm gonna show a picture this is before and after and you can spot all the extra stuff right away uh, first thing I'm gonna remove this because it's simpler to man maneuver okay now this little piece as a kid I always thought this was the thing that scanned all the transformers when they're revived but I've been uh, corrected numerous times uh, but uh, new decals for the window that gold plating looks amazing uh, blackish greenish I don't know I'm colorblind this looks green now last night it looked black maybe it's just the light reflection but it's really cool uh, windows or metal plating blue and uh, this is here that's a circular decal that goes around that uh, that port for missiles which we don't get with uh, Dior Trice Prime but we had it uh, we had the missiles in G1 and uh, it's uh, just one little strip that you peel around. It's kind of hard, but uh, I think I did okay. And now the cab itself. You have decals for steel plates here that look awesome. A go. Why is the light not picking up? Anyway, it, oh, there you go. It says go here. So when the cab is down, uh, you have some uh, extra details here. Um, of course, this is go for roller, which we don't have. Might actually need to pick up something from Fire Talks for this. Uh, extra decals on the sides here to enhance uh, the uh, the cab, and it's and, you know le it looks a lot less empty. Uh, there's nothing for the other section here, but be, I'm guessing because it's super molded. And then this is the best part. You have Bumblebee here, Roller, this looks like a schematics for Optimus Prime, this is an air vent, this I'm pretending this is some type of fuel tank, this is the statistics, if you have the red cellophane, um, you can actually highlight that and see uh, Optimus Prime stats, you have some computer analysis stuff, and then on the other side, here you have other analysis stuff, here you have a schematic of Megatron, this is cool. This is all the major episode that Optimus Prime is in, like the Rebirth and the Return of Optimus Prime, Dark Awakening. But it's super small, like I can't pick it up with my phone. And uh, maybe if I have readers or magnifying glasses, I could probably list you all the episode. This is Optimus Prime's motto. Uh, Freedom is the right of every sentient be of all sentient being. Uh, schematics, schematics, uh, or analysis stuff, another vent. The Matrix, uh, Stats, The Art, and this is here, the Space Bridge. So I'm guessing this is Space Brig Time and Space Fluctuation Data, I'm guessing. So there you go, this being the main reason why I got this set was mostly for the cab because I thought it was just a, an empty piece of plastic. Still nice, but 
you know, you you want to have a more complete uh, look. So, oh, and the gun pegged under. There was nothing for the gun in, uh, not really that disappointing. It's, I, I don't mind. So now let's retransform all of this into uh, robot mode and I'll uh, give you my final thoughts. Well, that's it guys. This is the final look of Optimus Prime with all the toy hacks decals applied and he's fantastic. It is a fantastic set. And I know I said I wasn't going to buy more decals for from toy hacks for a while because of budget and everything but you know what i can't stop because they enhance the figure so perfectly it's good for people like me who have no artistic talent this they just tell you where to put the stuff and you do it but it makes the figure so much better that you feel like you've been artistically creative it's good it's actually a great illusion if you want to boost your self-esteem <laughs> So thanks for watching guys, if you liked the video, please like, subscribe, hit the bell. Also leave a comment, I love reading those. Share the video, it always helps. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care!